One thing's for certain, fast food is no longer cheap. I mean, sure, it's still kind of fast, but is the prices cheap enough for lower income Americans to go in and buy them? Guys, fast food's getting very expensive to the point it's a luxury, it's a treat. And not to mention California right now has increased the minimum wage to $20 an hour. It's causing many of the McDonald's, the Taco Bells, the In-N-Outs to heavily raise prices. In fact, fast food in California is so expensive, you might as well just cook at home or go to like a cheap dine-in restaurant. Like this is what's happening in California. Now I'm fine with people making more money. In fact, it's encouraged because it's so expensive to live these days. But at the same time, really consider, you go from 15.50 minimum wage to $20, nearly a $5 jump in less than 12 months. What do you think is gonna happen? Well, thousands of workers get laid off and hundreds of stores are closing. That's what's happening right now. Look at this, McDonald's franchisee can't be raising prices fast enough to cover the minimum wage hike. You do have somebody here who's the owner of 21 McDonald's franchises in California. She's very frustrated on the state's new minimum wage for several reasons. And basically said that she's already laying off a bunch of employees. Now she says she's down for minimum wage to be increased, but not at a speed of what California is doing. California typically increases their minimum wage by 50 cents to a dollar, but they essentially just hike that by almost five bucks in a very short amount of time. It says, we as business owners are not opposed to minimum wage increases. One of our primary objectives is that this wage increase only applies to us. Why isn't everyone getting increased if fundamentally the current wage is not adequate for people to live? Who then are the customers that are going to be able to afford to pay for our food? McDonald's is now giga expensive. In fact, McDonald's in California is no longer competing with the likes of Burger King or Wendy's. They're literally competing against Applebee's, which is a genre of its own. And Chili's and Applebee's are more considered like cheap dine-in options on like a Friday night, right? Two people under 30 bucks. That's generally what Applebee's appeal is. It's like cheap, food's pretty decent, it's a big upgrade from McDonald's. But now Applebee's is like cheaper than the Big Mac. You kind of see why McDonald's and many of its franchisees are just so mad right now. McDonald's makes a lot of money from selling burgers. The profit margins are thin. You know, when McDonald's makes like $1,000 in sales, they only really profit 100 to 150 bucks. So extremely thin profit margins. And then you increase the minimum wage to 20 whopping dollars. Then you got franchisees like this woman barely scraping by. Many of these McDonald's with a third to sometimes even 40% of their expenses is being labor, suddenly seeing that sector raise up by almost 30%, Many of these McDonald's are no longer making money. And I think McDonald's is starting to know that Applebee's is like encroaching on their territory. So then they started launching like different items, like cheaper items to lure back lower income customers. But those items are literally money losers. Now you also have the minimum wage $20 an hour, right? The Big Mac meal on several McDonald's locations in California are hitting like $18. And it's not long before just the Big Mac without the fries and drink will probably cost 18 bucks or more. So think about this. You go to McDonald's, you're hungry, you want something cheap and quick, a quick bite to eat. You see a Big Mac, large fry and a large drink, $18. Now some places are cheaper at 16, but 18 is become the norm. I'm not spending 18 bucks on a Big Mac meal at McDonald's, I'm sorry. I'll spend $8 but not 18. Now 18, I could go somewhere else. This is why Applebee's is literally coming in with cheaper options, like their $10 burger. I'd rather spend money on that than buy like a Big Mac meal. McDonald's is pretty good, but is it really $18 good? Is it worth it over like a freshly grilled and cooked book, book like burger from Chili's or Applebee's? Probably not. Yeah, this is why these prices are increasing so fast. Many lower income Americans, many Americans who just want a quick bite to eat no longer can go to McDonald's. This franchise is becoming more worthless by the day. Franchise owner and Popeyes raises food prices by five to 10%, concerned that customers might be opting out for home cooking instead of paying for elevated fast food prices. Also considering scaling back hours, staff layoffs, or just closing his business altogether. There's already been several Popeyes, especially a lot of Subways, and a few McDonald's have closed down, not to mention thousands of employees have lost their jobs. McDonald's is, is also coming out with deals with quotation marks to lure back customers. So guys, I'm not really sure about a 40 piece McNuggets bundle, two large fries and a Sprite for almost $26. That is not worth it. I could get a much better meal somewhere else. 
than eat some processed chicken nuggets. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Fast food is no longer cheap. It's fast and luxurious food. And this is why many people are just cooking for home. Sales of many of these McDonald's, many of these Subways are down in the gutter. And if you also look into this, it seems like many of these businesses are simply hemorrhaging money. Can they become profitable? Can they adapt to this $20 environment? I'm not sure anymore because even Chili's has been looking to lure away a McDonald's customers following the price hikes. And remember, Chili's and Applebee's, for example, are not subjected to the $20 minimum wage because they're more considered a dine-in restaurant. 